Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. Well, I have an old computer mouse, this Logitech uh, M185 mouse right here, and I have a new fully boxed mouse. Now, I've been using this Logitech mouse for many years. It's not that fancy, it's not that expensive, but it works for me, and it, 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 it's, it's just always uh, done well. It's always tracked smoothly, except recently it really hasn't tracked, and it, I'm getting a lot of jittery movements. It just isn't working as well. So I went ahead and purchased a new one, but I figured I'd look back at this old one and see if I can actually uh, help fix it and improve its performance. Okay, so the new one is out of the box and you can see that uh, very similar shape, very similar design. Basically, it's the same one, maybe a little bit different color, texture is a little bit. But if you flip it over, I will show you what I think is the problem. And what I think is the problem are these little mouse feet or uh, sometimes you call them pads, but actually they're called skates because they're kind of a Teflon coated a uh, little pad, so in this case we have three, one big one here and two small ones up on top. And if you look down here, uh, the, pad, the big one is still pretty well intact. Maybe the Teflon coating is probably worn down and so it doesn't uh, move as smoothly. But the top pads here are completely gone and they've fallen off and uh, the, the lack of these pads uh, uh, kind of reduce the height when you're sliding this thing around and that could potentially cause some issues with your tracking. It's a little too close to the surface. Um, there could be, it just could also be age, you know, some of the electronics and the sensors could be off. But I want to uh, try to replace these pads and see if I can get a better performance out of this mouse. So I went ahead on Amazon and found myself some mice skates. And these are uh, actually two sets. I could actually replace uh, two mouse sets with these pads. And they're kind of Teflon coated pads. And it's interesting because replacing the mouse itself uh, only cost me about 14, 15 bucks. I think this was on sale. This was eight bucks or actually seven bucks. I got this one on a little bit of sale too. So. Whether or not you want to do this is up to you. It could be very much cheaper to just replace the mouse, but if you have an expensive mouse, uh, replacing the skates might be a good option. And so out of the package, here's the little pads themselves that you just kind of peel them off here and then stick them back on. But first you have to clean off the old, uh, the residue off the little spots here and also remove this older pad right here. I'm not sure how easy that will be, uh, but it does, uh, the kit cut does come with a, uh, some glue removal wipes. You could also use some isopropyl alcohol as well with a towel uh, to try to, because you do want to get it clean. So first things first, we're going to try to remove, um, well first let's get this battery out of here. So again, the top ones are pretty much gone. We could just kind of maybe wipe those down but this bottom one really needs to come off. And so I'm just gonna take a little tiny blade here and see if I can peel that up. And sure enough, it's coming off pretty easily. And so there you go. So it's off and I just have to wipe it clean. And so taking one of these little wipes that came with the kit, again, you could use some isopropyl alcohol I'm just gonna kind of clean all the glue residue do off this and and let that dry and do the same up here. Make sure everything's clean. And then I'm not gonna touch these surfaces after I do this, so not to get my fingerprints on them. I'm gonna peel these off with my fingers, so I am gonna use the wipe to kind of clean off some of the oils on my fingers, so I don't add to that. And then, this is completely dry, this looks pretty dry. Then I'm just gonna peel one of these off. And it feels a lot stiffer than the old one. Uh, you can definitely tell that this one's thicker and stiffer. And then I'm going to just replace this. Kind of trying to get it in place as best I can. 
get it in the right spot. There's a little bit of, of, of a ridge where it's supposed to go in. I don't want it on top of that because then the height will be a little off, but I think I got it good. So I'm gonna just depress this down. And I could definitely tell it's, it's quite a bit higher. And looking at the new one, uh, let's see, this, this one actually feels a little bit higher than the newer one. So hopefully that added height won't uh, cause any issues. And then now for the smaller pads, we'll just do the same thing. Now these were completely gone, so I just kind of put it lightly down initially before I push it up, just so I center it. That's good, and then I depress it. Very nice. And then one more. There you go, and depress it. And already you can tell that the replacements are higher for sure than the Logitech, the new one. But with it in there, let's go ahead and shut this. Seems to move fairly fairly good. So I'm gonna put a ba uh, battery in there and see if this actually will work. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I did test it out. I don't want to show you the screen, but you, you'll have to take my word for it. It does seem to work a little bit better. Um, it seems to be smooth. I don't see any jittering. I'm gonna to have to play with it for a little while because sometimes it worked better sometimes than other times, but it does seem a lot smoother uh, right now. So hopefully these little feet might have worked and I actually now have uh, two mice that I could go back and forth. Maybe I'll use this for travel and keep this one at my desk. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.